Hey kids, it's Mrs. Murphy. I am so excited today because you get to meet your next alpha friend. I know we made it through the whole alphabet, but guess what? Some letters have two friends. For example, you already met our friend, Al the Alligator. He helps us with the short A sound, A. Ah. But today, you're going to learn all about the long A. And to do that, we're going to need April Acorn. Can you help me call her? You can, great. On the count of three, I want you to say, come on out, April Acorn. Are you ready? Great, one, two, three, come on out, April Acorn. There she is. Hey, April. Hi, Mrs. Murphy. Say, April, do you think that you could teach us a little bit more about your sound? Yes, I'd love to. Great. All right, April's gonna tell us all about her sound. Well, the letter A can make the sound that you hear at the beginning of the word acorn. That's the long A sound. The letter is A and the sound is A. Thanks, April, that was so helpful. Hey, you know what? Our other alpha friends had songs. Do you have a song too? You bet I do. Good, let's listen to her song. And checks on the whole train to make sure everything is in grade A shape. With deliveries to make, she takes them from place to place. Things that have a long A, and she has never been late. April Acorn, she's a train driving ace. She checks the skates and the plates And the tapes and the capes And the cakes that the baker just baked And the chains and the grains And the planes and the canes And the baby with the smiling face And the snakes and the brakes And the snails and the pails And a huge crate of purple grapes And the games and the frames And the hay and the clay to brighten your day. What do you say? We do that one more time, just faster. She checks the skates and the plates and the tapes and the capes and the cakes that the baker just baked. And the chains and the grains and the planes and the canes and the baby with the smiling face. And the snakes and the brakes and the snails and the pails and a huge crate of purple grapes. And the games and the frames and the hay and the clay and the paint to brighten your day. April Acorn. The long A makes the sound A, just like its name. Let's watch this girl as she shows us how she pronounces it. A, A. Can you say the sound with me? A. Great job. Let's check out our sound in some words. Let's practice listening for the long A sound in words. I'll say the word, then you can help me say the sounds. When we get to the sound that says A, you can stand up. Are you ready? The first word is gate. Say the sounds and stand up when you get to the long A. G, A, T, gate. Did you stand up for the A? Look at this word. The letter E has a star under it because it's a magic E. The magic E does not make a sound but it tells our vowel, the letter A, to say its name. Let's try another one. Tape. Say the sounds and stand up when you hear the A. T, A, P, tape. 
Did you stand up for the A? Remember, the E does not make a sound because it's a magic E that tells the vowel, the letter A, to say its name. Let's try another. Sit down. The next word is cake. Say the sounds and stand up at the letter A. K, A, K, cake. Do you remember what we call that E at the end? You're right, a magic E. It makes the letter A say its name. Sit down so we can do one more. Our last word is cave. Say the sounds and stand up when we say the A. K, A, V, cave. Good job standing up for the letter A. Do you remember the job of the magic E? You got it. It makes the vowel A say its name. And that's it, friends. That's the long A. I'll see you guys next time. If you liked this video and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.